Alright guys, in today's video I'm going to show you a uh, new ROM which is called Hyperdrive and I'm going to go ahead and just go through some of the coolness on it and then show you the install on it as well at the end here which is also actually pretty neat how to do the install. Okay, this is going to be on my uh, Galaxy S3. Now this is Hyperdrive ROM and this is for any Galaxy S3. That's one of the neat things about this. It doesn't have to be Verizon. It can be you know whatever your carrier is sprint t-mobile at&t uh, any of those devices is pretty much going to look exactly the same um, it just in the install process you do a little something a little different to make sure you install the correct radios and stuff that's specific for your carrier um, but otherwise this is going to work on any s3 uh, device so let's just go ahead really quickly and go to about phone to show you what we have here this is the verizon model of the s3 but like i said it doesn't really matter you just change the uh, build stuff. Now you can see this is on MA2 is the uh, baseband version and build number is the MF1 right down there at the bottom. So you can see what we're running and I installed two different launchers that's why this comes up when I hit home. Um, it does. You can install the Sense so let's just show it to you really quick and have the Sense launcher and all of its you know look if you like Sense which is HTC's version or what I like better is the TouchWiz, and I'm going to set that as default. And this is the TouchWiz launcher, um, like the S4 has, or any of that kind of stuff. Um, and this is just stuff that you can pick when you do the installation. You can pick what you want installed. Like you can have the fancy Sense, you know, application here. You can install ES File Browser, and you can go through and pick all of the stuff that you like. Um, when you're going through the install procedure, which is very cool. It does come with hyperdrive tweaks, hyperdrive hub um, settings. You can install around toolbox through there, you know, torch, terminal. There's the sense launcher if you want to use it. It does come obviously rooted in all those kind of goodies. Um, so uh, let's just go ahead and look through this a little bit. You can see your pull downs. And one of the things that I saw was just neat. You can get into settings there, but you can get into this which gives you your most running applications but it also allows you to go to the application manager really quick by hitting the button down there and you can get right into your application manager very easily um, which is really nice kind of right right there it's kind of a shortcut to it or your running applics running services and you know get into that also which is the same way of doing it is going here and then going to application manager it's just a shortcut built into it which is very nice uh, on your pull down so it's a neat little uh, tweak that I've seen that I, I really do like in this ROM. So let's go ahead and go into settings and just look through some of the most uh, interesting things. Um, this is all pretty standard on the S3. You know, this looks standard. You do have uh, messaging and call blocking, and you can build list of what messages and call numbers and phone numbers you want blocked. Um, so that's very cool. That's built into the ROM. Uh, you got your standard wireless network stuff, wire, Wi-Fi and all that stuff right here built in. And then these top two are, we have lock screens too, which you've seen probably before. Um, we'll go into that a little bit. So you have some lock screen options, some motor things, nothing really too exciting there. But then let's look at this Hyperdrive Hub. This is really nice because Hyperdrive, when they do an update, you actually get the OTA updates. And right here it says download ROM updates over the air. And you can go ahead and download them right there and check for updates um, on, on this ROM. So this is built into the ROM which is just I think pretty slick um, that it has it in here and you can go ahead and do that. Uh, it does give you some theme stuff coming soon it says but it has OTA updates built into it so when they do an update you're gonna get it and it'll help you apply that update which is very su sweet. The other thing we got here is hyperdrive tweaks and this thing is full full fledged too. Um, so you got all these goodies here. So we're going to go through them. User interface. So you got status bar, notification panel, status bars up here on the top, phone customization, launcher stuff. Um, if you go to status bar, bunch of clock things, color of uh, battery bars, and uh, status bar images, and all that stuff you can adjust. Notification panel. Um, and you got all that which has to do with all this stuff up here and editing and changing and tweaking all of it which is very nice um, lock screen mods customization 
um, lock screen torch if you want to get your flash really quick which I think that's nice I'm gonna put that on there some ripple effect things different uh, features you have right there audio mods so volume key control got that miscellaneous long press kill buttons um, some LED stuff pie controls if you want to use that off the side and Wi-Fi band switcher phone codes phone info custom Samsung phone codes that's really cool built in there uh, super user obviously shortcut to that let's back out of this one again um, toolbox so you have a file manager right here which you can use which is basically J Rummy's um, file manager let's see if I can get it to open up it failed on me but it does work I've used it before um, you have kernel controls, media scammer, GPS fix, and f some uh, custom file downloader. Um, C uh, kernel controls opens trickster mod, like you can see right here. And you can go ahead and do your governors, your schedulers, your GPU stuff, your um, CPU fre frequencies. All that goodies are in trickster mod, so that's built into it too. You do have the exposed framework, and you can go ahead and install that and do per app DPI settings uh, and all that kind of uh, goodies as well so you guys can see there's a lot in here if you go over here to advance you have fixed permissions zip lines mounting systems battery stat fixing wipe cache wipe delvet cache so this thing is just pack full of great customization and that's what i like to see in a rom it really gives you tons of features you do feel like you still have an you know an s3 here and it feels like you're actually running an s4 because of the launcher and stuff like that but um, you get all the awesome customization in this device. And there's tons of other speed and performance tweaks. Um, so that's pretty much the ROM. I'm going to give you guys a link to where you can get this on XDA Developers. Down here in my video description. It also has a full log of like all the features. This is just a good portion of them that we went through here. This thing's got too much in it to even go through everything. Um, I, one thing I will just show you really quick is that the weather widget here is a transparent, which I like. And that's a feature you can install. Um, so, let's go into some prerequisites on this. Obviously, this is the S3, uh, Samsung Galaxy S3. And what you're going to need to install this is, one, let me show you really quick. You're going to need to go ahead and download the file. And you're going to need to know where it's at. Yeah, okay. Um, storage, extensions, mine should be under ROMs. And right here it is. We're going to go to properties. And then to show you what it's called right there, Hyperdrive RLS 15 Universal. And like I said, it's universal because it is um, for any of the devices, any of the S3 devices, regardless of carrier. Next, you're going to need to have root access um, on whatever you're running before that and an unlocked uh, bootloader, obviously. Now, if you don't have those things and a custom recovery installed, that's the last one. Um, I have videos on all that for this device, for the Verizon version. For the other versions, I'm sure it's fairly close, but mine is specifically for the Verizon if you check my uh, videos down below here in uh, my YouTube channel. And you're going to need to uh, boot into custom recovery. So I think this has a custom boot menu. Now, if you don't, you can just uh, do it the manual way, but I think it does. Yeah, it does. Reboot to recovery. Um, so manually... What you got to do is you got to hold volume up, the home button, and power. You're going to see a Samsung logo flash, and it'll say recovery in the top screen. And then you'll let go of power, and you'll keep holding the other two, and eventually you'll boot into your custom recovery. Now, I'm going to do this using uh, Twerp Recovery, which is um, Team Win Recovery Project. Uh, now, that's what I'm going to use. You can still use this with Clockwork Mod Recovery or whatever other recovery system you guys have installed should work fine. Uh, you just got to follow the install steps on this. So to do it, first thing you're going to do is go to Wipes. And you're just going to do a factory reset really quick, which is one slide. And then do it again. They said to do it a couple times just to make sure it's really clean. Then you're going to go to uh, Advanced, and we're going to highlight the uh, Delvic system and cache and do that one again and that should be everything wiped we can keep going back we can go to installs 
and I should be able to go to you you're probably going to be in downloads if you download it to your phone right here um, just know where it is on your SD card mine's here and then you're going to go to whoops clicked out of it right there the hyperdrive file make sure it's listed which it is and go ahead and flash it now the cool thing about installing this ROM unlike a lot of the other ROMs is this thing uses uh, aroma installer which is super easy interface and it really lets you basically build your own custom ROM in a way when it comes to the features that are in it and the applications that are in it and that is just awesome I love using aroma installer because of that and as you can see look it's opening a whole nother interface you're not seeing your normal stuff here so the first thing you gotta do is just hit continue hit I agree to his terms and conditions it tells you about doing the wipes, which we already did. Um, and it says, do you want to do a system information? Back up your, your EFS, exit, or full install. And that's what I clicked on. Then you got to pick your, de your, your device, Cricut, US Cellular, Metro PC, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon. And you click on that. Well, I have Verizon, so I'm going to click on Verizon. It asks you which launcher you'd like to use. And a bunch of features there and you can pick which one you want based on the descriptions I just gonna go with the top one now you get to pick all the apps in it that you want so um, I'm just gonna pick them all because I want every single thing in here um, is there maybe stuff that you actually don't want and this just gives you the feature to not install it if you don't want I'm not gonna pick weather widget because I don't use it um, and then uh, same here just go through and pick now I don't want the Galaxy Note 2 keyboard. I like the Android. So I'm going to go with that and click all these. Hit next. Stock AccuWeather. I'm going to go with the S4 one. Actually the transparent one which you saw in the video. And that's fine for email clients. File browser. I like ES. That's my favorite. This is where you can install that uh, Sense Launcher if you also want it. I don't. I'm just going to skip it. Um, some AOSP stuff which calendar, clock, Calculator, that's fine. Mail is, yeah, that's fine. Um, Google Plus, I'm going to install all of that. Modded YouTube, I'll leave out. Um, this is if you want to install any of the Xperia from like Sony, any of their features. And you can go through here if you'd like that look and layout. You can install their applications, which is, like I said, this is awesome. You can totally build your own ROM here, basically. Uh, I'm going to do that. It says the music stuff. I'm not going to get into that. I'll just use Google. Swipe for keyboards, some other ones. Like I said, I like the Google stuff. Um, ad blocker is fine. Volume hack to boost your volume a little bit. I'm going to use 50%. NFC mode stock is good for me. Some audio um, equalizers if you want to install those. I'm not going to bother with them. Uh, Adobe Flash Player. Right there. Awesome. Definitely going to install that. Apple Weather. ROM Toolbox and Terminal is the other two I want. And you have Classic Hyperdriver Zoom. I'm just going to go Classic. Some themes. S4 theme is what I like. That you don't have an option for. And then Next. And now it's going to go through the install process right here in Aroma after you've picked all your options. So you can see that this thing is just like super awesome. So we're going to let this install and we'll uh, reboot and that will wrap it up here. Alrighty, so there you go. Everything looks good. We're going to go ahead and hit next down here. And then it says check for reboot. And I'm just going to go ahead and let it reboot and reboot the device. Um, so the last thing I'm going to show you guys is the boot logo. Once you get logged in and set, don't install your apps. Don't do any of that stuff yet. Just go ahead and let it sit for about 10 minutes. Do a reboot. After a reboot, go ahead and set up all your stuff and get everything going on it. It needs time for everything to kind of settle in after you do this flash to make sure it's all going to work correctly for you. That's it, guys. That is the full install and review of Hyperdrive on the S3. Any carrier, doesn't matter. Developer of this was awesome and just made this a Roman star to make this super simple. There you go. That's it. I uh, hope you guys like it. As always, hey, check me out at rootjunkie.com. You can follow me on Facebook or Twitter on the other side. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time.